probably already heard the term USB-C and have most likely seen it appearing on some of the newest devices, but you probably do not know exactly what it is. So here is basically everything you should know about USB-C. USB-C is the emerging standard for charging and transferring data. Right now, it's included in devices like the newest laptops, phones and tablets and given time, it'll spread to pretty much everything that currently uses the older, larger USB connector. The main reason for more and more companies moving on to USB-C is because devices are getting smaller and smaller, laptops are getting thinner and even the newest phones are getting thinner. The USB-C connector was developed by the USB Implementers Forum the group of companies that has developed, certified and shepherded the USB standard. It counts more than 700 companies in its membership, including Apple, Dell, HP, Intel, Microsoft and Samsung. This is important because it's part of why USB-C has been so readily accepted by PC manufacturers. In a previous video, I talked about USB 3.0 and explained the benefits of USB 3.0, but the last major update to the ever-evolving USB standard came in 20. 13 with USB 3.1 and that was accompanied by the introduction of the new USB-C connector. If anything, it could become the default connection standard for even more devices. Apple helped kick off the trend with the 12-inch MacBook that used a single USB-C socket to not just connect all its peripherals but also provide power. The first thing to realize about USB-C is that it's not a new USB standard in the same way as USB 1.1, USB 2.0, USB 3.0 or even the very latest USB 3.1R. Those upgrades focus on defining what the connection can do in terms of speed and feature improvements, whereas USB-C is all about physical connection, like with micro USB and mini USB. The crucial difference here though is that unlike micro and mini USB, USB-C is aimed at being a replacement for both ends of the cable. The default protocol with the new USB-C connector is USB 3.1, which at 10 gigabits per second is theoretically twice as fast as USB. USB 3.0. USB-C support for sending simultaneous video signals and power streams means that you can connect to and power a native DisplayPort, MHL or HDMI device or connect to almost anything else assuming you have the proper adapter and cables. The USB-IF also announced in 2016 that it will be updating the USB-C spec to include audio which means the 3.5mm headphone jack could soon vanish from computers just as it already has on the iPhone 7 and other smartphones phone devices. Type-C USB also allows for bi-directional power, so apart from charging the peripheral device, when applicable, a peripheral device could also charge a host device. All this means is that you can do away with an array of proprietary power adapters and USB cables and move to a single robust and tiny solution that works for all devices. Type-C USB will significantly cut down the amount of wires currently needed to make devices work. Type-C USB and USB 3.1 are backward compatible with USB 3.1 and it was B 2.0. In a pure Type-C USB connection, the Type-A ports and plugs are no longer included. However, you'll find compatible Type-A to Type-C cables. On top of that, there will be adapters to make Type-C hosts and devices work with existing USB devices. In years to come, we will most likely be seeing more and more devices adapt to the USB protocol. This obviously is a smart move for any company and Apple was one of the first to jump onto the bandwagon. So anybody who complained about the removal of the headphone jack on the iPhone 7 or any recent smartphone devices, you will probably be seeing a lot more of that in the future. And this is where I end today's video. If you liked the video, learned anything new, or want more, feel free to subscribe, comment below, and give this video a thumbs up. Also, feel free to check out previous videos by using the links provided in the description below. Don't forget to follow all my social medias to be updated whenever a new video comes out on the channel. And that's about it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll be seeing you in the next video.